Speaking frankly, apart from my relationship with Jesus, I would not know how to make sense of the pain and brokenness that we meet face to face with every single day that I go to work. There are some things where you look at what's going on and you say, this makes no sense of all. There's no purposes, there's no meaning to this, and it's dark. Just a couple of days ago, a man in his 30s came in who um, had been on a binge of methamphetamine and heroin, lots of sexual contacts with many different people anonymously, and was just uh, you know, at a point of brokenness and, out, and being out of control. We took care of his needs. We took, you know, took care of the issues of why he was there, and he had mentioned uh, uh, people from his people from his church, and just very quickly, but said, you know, I'm going to pray for you every day for the next month. Know, know that I will be. He instantly was in tears and said, you know, my primary purpose is to hopefully be able to give glory to God, and I'm not there right now. My relationship with Jesus allows me to invite grace, invite the transformation of Jesus into the midst of that. I can say, Jesus, I invite you, I invite you into this, and in that is my fundamental belief and hope that, that Jesus will absorb that pain, that brokenness, that thing that makes no sense to anybody and absorb that and transform that in ways that I can't appreciate right now. Every day I'm, I'm praying for him during this month because that makes my heart glad when, we, when I get the chance to be able to care for people and love, love people in that way.